Hey guys, Dan here with Sterling Self Defense and Badger. Say hi, Badger. Badger sleeping. Coming at you another tech talk. All right, so you guys are familiar with my uh, original mod in the firing pin. You know, the biggest problem with the uh, stock firing pin is, well, they weren't Loctiting them. And second of all, they have the hole. See that little hole? That's where the Allen key goes in and screws it into the firing pin. And what happens is that hole ends right in the center where it's the weakest and that ends up breaking off. So got rid of those. Now what we do is we install a solid longer one. Let me grab a regular firing pin. And measure it, put it in there, you know, Loctite it. Screw it all the way in and then cut that socket hole off. So now there's no more weakness. We've got full stainless steel, good and strong, and solid all the way through. So now I improved the mod a little bit. You, to do the complete mod, you can see the old video. Uh, the new modification I got is the same thing, you know, measured, cut off. But now to put on easier, now it's a Phillips in the back. What I did was, I'll show you basically, you know, take a regular firing pin, I'm not going to do it because I got the Apple AirPod things on. And you can't see right. But basically, you're putting a cross slot with a Dremel. Very easy to do at home. If you've got a Dremel, one of these little thin, you know, cutting wheels. Just hold it very evenly, turn it on, and cut a slot straight across. Same depth as the original slot. And what that leaves you is a Phillips. But uh, being a Phillips pointed, what you do is you can take a screwdriver put it in a sander or sand it down yourself, flatten that out. So when it sits in there, it sits in nice and flat like that. And, you know, and once you push it up in there, it doesn't fall and it's real easy to screw in. You know, really solved a lot of problems there. Uh, I have ones pre-made on the website. So if you do, I, I always recommend doing it yourself. You know, then all you gotta do is get yourself, you know, a good screw, measure it correctly, cut it, and to cut those, easiest way to cut those, elect, electrician's uh, wire strippers. They got two little spots on them, 632 and 832, where you take a screw, you know, mark it where you want to cut it. All you do is screw it right into there and cut it just like that. I didn't measure this one, so I'm not going to cut it. But real easy to cut, and it keeps the threads nice when you thread it back out. And then you just got to take a, a, a Phillips bit, you know, grind down that nice and flat so it sits in there flat, and it's easy to put in. So real stupid easy, but if you guys don't want to do your, I, do your own, I have them on the website. And every one comes with its own bit, and it also comes with... Uh, Single-use Loctite, because this side's already Loctited in, but you still got to Loctite it into the bolt. So you'll have Loctite to do that with. All right, so that's it. It's a pretty good mod. It makes it a, I, I had some guys complaining that, you know, the flathead's real hard to get it in. It wobbles a lot. Now it sits right in there. Nice and strong. You know, real easy. Just remember to flatten that off, because if you leave the point on, it's just going to jiggle. All right, uh, down and dirty, quick little video, guys. Just want to show you. Oh, also a new thing is uh, my <clears throat> modified detents. I improved a little bit. Sometimes if you get a hot shot, this was uh, the little nipple that sticks out and holds around was sticking in the barrel slot. So what I did was I redesigned it and I took a little off the sides here. So now it never sticks in. It always comes right back, no matter what power going through it. It's not going to stick. So I prefer metal detents myself, metal with the magnetic too. But uh, you guys don't have that option on your barrels. You only have the option for rubber. These are the upgraded good hard detents uh, that I came out with many years ago. A lot of guys copied off of them uh, using different kinds of material. Uh, I tried 64 different kinds of material and a lot of testing over the years, and I found this material I'm using works the best and lasts the longest and really holds up. 
unlike the regular first strike rubber ones, they're only meant for paintball. You know, a couple of shots and with a hard projectile, and it just takes that piece right off. I'll show you the what a stock one looks like. You know, stock one's just real rubbery. You know, see how you know flimsy and rubbery that is. These ones are a lot firmer and stronger, like a mix between a plastic and a rubber. So all the guys, you know, the guys have been using them for years know they hold up really well. I came out with these about six years ago. It was my first ever engineered, modified BART were these detents. Because when I first started out with the first strike uh, FSC, I was going through, I was doing a lot of testing. So I was going through about 20 of these a week and these are freaking expensive as shit. That's why I ended up designing those because it was ridiculous, the money I was spending every month on these stupid little first strike rubber detents. Like, they're, they're good for pepper balls, they're fine. They're great for paintballs, but solid projectiles, they just do not hold up. Right, Badger? Badger agrees with me, right, buddy? All right, guys, that's it for this Tech Talk. I will see you on the next one. Say goodbye, Badger, and get out of my face. All right, guys, stay safe.